If you love orchids the same as I do, you should try to pollinate it at least once. That's the way orchids reproduce in the wild. It's hard to do it at home though, but by learning from mistakes and trying out after every fail, you may get your own hybrid orchid. At least, that's my goal. Pollination is easy if you know precisely what to do. I've taken two different kinds of orchids. But please know that you should try to take pollen from flowers that are not fading. Otherwise, it might not work in this case. For pollination, you'll need a toothpick or a tweezer. These tools are needed to extract pollen. You'll see a small tail that'll stick to the toothpick. Generally, there are two small, even tiny pollen balls with a hood. You should carefully take off the hood without touching these balls. The flower has a special pocket where pollen should be placed. Place it without touching it. Put your glasses on if you need because it's a delicate work. Once you touch it, the pocket might be damaged and pollination won't happen. You'll see how they fade and close their pockets within 24 hours sometimes even 48. In fact, even those flowers you don't touch will fade altogether with the ones you've pollinated. Because orchid blooms fall on to attract bugs and get pollen. Once it does, its mission is complete. I've pollinated more than one flower. It'll give the orchid more chances to get pollinated. If you're lucky enough, you'll get more than one seed pocket from one orchid. Orchids form seeds on the flower stem and it looks like a growing belly of an orchid. It might take from five to eight months for the orchid to give seeds for reproduction. Thank you.